goes on as the presidency and the Senate are divided across both lines. There are increased calls for the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Babachir Lawal, and the Acting Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Magu, to resign on moral grounds following damning revelations of alleged corruption. Will the President's hammer on graft come down on both men? Or how will the matter be handled? That's our focus tonight on the program. Many thanks for joining in. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Suleiman Aledi. And a whole lot has been happening in the polity. First up on the program tonight, James Onanefe Ibori, the embattled ex-governor of Delta State in south, south of Nigeria, has been released from prison on the orders of a British uh, court. Uh, his release was ordered today by a UK court after spending three years in jail, uh, Mr. Ibori was arrested in May of 2010 in Dubai and extradited to the UK to face charges of money laundering. Presiding Judge Justice uh, May in ordering, Mrs. Justice May in ordering the release says it's wrong to hold someone just because it is convenient to do so without plans to deport them. And uh, what well, she went on to say, well, she also rejected a home office application that electronically targeted and subject to strict curfew conditions. The court accepted arguments that the Home Secretary is attempting to misuse her immigration and deportation powers on Mr. Ibori. The former governor of former London DRY store cashier was jailed and uh, for fraud, totaling nearly 50 million pounds in April of 2012. And the Independent National Electoral Commission, that's another news now, the Independent National Com Electoral Commission has also approved the promotion of 1,307 of its staff across the country. The approval came yesterday following a meeting of the commission held at the INEC headquarters, Abuja. So a breakdown of those promoted shows that 14 were officers promoted from grade level 16 to the rank of grade level 17. There's a substantive directors, while 1,293 were officers from grade levels 7 to, 7 to 16. All the staff promoted passed their promotion examinations and successfully met the rigorous criteria set by the commission. The Commission also set up a high-powered four-man committee to investigate the role of INEC staff in the conduct of the Rivers National as well as State Assembly rerun elections which took place on Saturday, December 10th. The members of the committee, uh, you can get to see some of them on your screen, are Professor Okechuku Ibianu as chairman. Air Vice Marshal Ahmed T. Mwazu, National Commissioner Member, Professor Jacob Jatao, Resident Electoral Commissioner, FCT Member, Omolaja Tajuddin, Deputy Director, Discipline. The committee's terms of reference are to review the preparations and deployment of personnel and material on the eve of the elections. Also, to identify the factors leading to the apparent failure of processes in some local government areas, the timing, the involvement and possible culpability of INEC officials in the conduct and outcome of the elections, recommend appropriate sanctions against officials involved in any infractions and commendation for exceptional performance and also advise the Commission on any matter considered relevant to the assignment. The committee is to submit its report on Monday, 30th January 2017. And of course, in respect of INEC staff facing investigation by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, that's the EFCC, over the conduct of the 2015 general elections, the Commission decided that appropriate disciplinary action be meted out to them based on 
the INEC staff conditions of service. In the meantime, four directors of the Independent National Electric Commission at the headquarters of Abuja, who recently retired after meritoriously serving the commission, were yesterday recognized and appreciated with gift items by directors in the commission's headquarters. It looks like a beautiful Christmas coming so early for these uh, members of staff who worked for INEC. Uh, INEC has been really in the news. Don't also forget uh, there's also the news of uh, uh, it giving its nod to the uh, mega party in the making. And uh, even though a lot of people are still not too clear as to those who are behind uh, the mega party. But the good thing here is that INEC says it has given the nod for them to bring all of those documents for our proper uh, documentation and registration of the mega party.